Hello, welcome back, and this is part four. Now, unfortunately, I forgot about that there's a couple extra things, and that's why it takes so long. Anyway, since I forgot to explain it in the last video, I'll let you know what this does, and also why we have this error. Okay, so, if enter is pressed in the text box, and then we're going to create a new whoops, list of string. It's going to add to our range of everything that's in the text box, but it's going to split each of our parameters by the comma. So that's how we're going to know. So if the parameter list is less than 3, then we know to call the sub. It's going to generate our HTML code with only two user specified parameters. If it is equal to 3, then we know that the user is including the optional font size value. So we use the sub, or so we call our sub with all three parameters. We want to save the table. We call our sub save table. And this is not yet created. So we're going to create it. So I'm just going to go right here, create a new sub public sub oh. Okay, let me explain what this does. So, our show table sub. Now, this is going to create a new web browser. But we don't want to just create a new web browser. We want to have a web browser with certain settings. That's what we use the with setting, or with statement for. So, with our WB as our web browser, or as our new web browser, we want to set the doc style to be full so that our page or our control is the size of our form which is firm <laughs> firm okay and we tell our f web page on our form that we want it to navigate to our directory of our HTML file and then we do the same for our form except for we want to say that its name is going to be our form text a size is going to be new size of width 300 by height 300 we want the control to be added of our web browser so that this form knows that it's part of its control and we want the visibility set to false so that we don't get an error when we use the dot show dialog property which the show dialog is going to make it so that it is prioritized to be um, visible and brung up front and that we cannot interact with the form one until we have finished with our dialog or closed it out so now we've got that this little nifty thing is no longer an issue so I think we have everything. Let's try and run this. So how you use this program, you want to hit your operator. 
separated by the comma, which you can touch it up with trimming this text box. But anyway, so take let's do a times table times table of ten with a font size of five. Oh 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 no as don't put as for each item. Aha now we got that right. So ba bam it has generated us this nifty little application. So Ah, there's one little issue that we're going to correct right now. So go to your calculate result and touch this part up. It should be x should equal 1. Yep. So, whoa. This needs to be set to min. And that's it. That's the reason why we have a row that is set at zero. Okay. Now that we got that fixed, <coughs> we won't have that annoying row. Now let me try. I'll show again. You use whatever operator that your function supports. So let's try a plus table, plus separated by a comma. So all your parameters will be spaced by a comma, or separated by a comma. Okay, let's do a table of 20 with a font size of 8. Oh yeah, looking pretty snazzy. And ah, I wanted to do one thing just so that you can uh, this is not right. I want this to be where our file is located. So the whole path name, just in case I want to open up my application and look at the HTML files that it creates. Whoops. All right, let's tr let's try a minus table. Minus fifteen. Nine. <clears throat> table of subtraction. And if you look at the code, this is what it's created. Yeah. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Stick, if you like my videos, subscribe. I plan to do more tutorials. So, yep. Thanks for watching. Bye.